beyond epic. Beyond epic. Okay, so it's very early in the morning. It is currently half past seven, and we're gonna go out with the legend that is Frank. Tank. <laughs> Frank the Tank in the Evico S way. We're gonna go and do some installation laps this morning. I wanted to make sure that I got up early to come out and, and get in this thing again. I'm hungover as hell, so feeling a bit rough, but yeah, we're gonna go and have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm awake. So it's about an hour later. I'm only just recovering. I've got a blister on my hand from when I was holding on to the Avico so much. So I figured I'm gonna wake myself up even more and I'm gonna go into the pit lane. The trucks have got warm up at the moment. Two races today, they did qualifying yesterday and then I've got to do prototype cup qualifying and the race as well. Oh, and here we are, pit lane. Beautiful place to be. Be as much footage for me today because I've not got as much free time to wander around unfortunately it's just gonna be a busy one really with all the commentating I'm gonna have to do so it might just be a bit of broadcast footage that you're gonna see and just the odd shot here and there from inside the paddock if I see anybody and speak to people but either way it's a beautiful day here at the Nürburgring can't wait to get all the racing underway and I just can't wait to start commentating you know I'm actually excited about commentating all the time and it's something that I still love doing you know and nothing gets old in this industry to me it's fantastic to be a part of it, so let's get on with it. I'll tell you what sounds really good, really good. LMP3. <laughs> than the, uh, the Ford Raptor from uh, Budapest, to be honest. They've got all the Falcon uh, drift cars here as well. They take them around every so often. They take them around every so often, and it's a fantastic demonstration, to be fair. There's just black streaks all around the circuit from where they've been drifting them. It's so cool. Anyway, it's too loud, I'll see in a bit. And welcome to the actual office. So this is where I'm going to be commentating this weekend. Let's see. 
still stupid loud, those LMP3 cars. I'm in the back of one of the OB trucks. Um, there's five kilometers of fiber cable here, which is a lot. Anyway, I've got my notes, audio desk thing, huge monitor, which is great because it's a split between the timing screen, the map, the actual broadcast, and then race control messages. And then we get our feed as well on this one. And, you know, does the job. I've got a nice comfy seat. It's comfier than it was in the, uh, the Raptor, like I say. I'm happy to be in here. It's a, it's a nice professional setup, and this is the sort of thing I love. I keep doing these things where I get sort of lost, not lost for words, but I run out of words to say, because I want to try and make this as interesting as I can for you lot watching, because I know I did a lot of them last year. It was very repetitive and same thing again and again, but it's still uh, it's still something that I enjoy sort of bringing to you to show what I'm doing, you know? I, I keep it as up to date as I can, it's difficult sometimes, but yeah, we're, we're here and time to do the job. And it looks like a good start actually from Adam Latchko. He stays directly alongside Norbert Kish. Sasha Lenz is giving him a push. I think there might have been a tiny touch between Jamie Anderson and Antonio Albacete. Round the final corner he goes. The crowd will absolutely love it as Norbert kicks the back end out as he always does. Flamboyant as ever. Norbert Kish wins the first race of the weekend at the Nürburgring. Awesome drive by Norby, flashes the lights, sounds the horn. Adam Latchko gets some strong points in second place ahead of Jochen Hahn and Antonio Albacete. And a top five for Teo Calve. Fantastic performance by Teo. Von Gartsen has gone second fastest with a 120.6, so right in the death they improve. Hacklander third, Freddie Hunt fourth. Does Felipe Laser improve? He does, but he stays in fifth place. And then, oh, look at that. Dien's absolutely crushing it at the end there as well. Goes another tenth of a second quicker. So we've done the first race of the day. We've covered uh, prototype cup qualifying as well. I am hanging out my ass. I've had painkillers and food and all sorts, and now I'm all right, I guess. It's been a bit of a challenge this morning, if I'm honest with you. It's my own doing. We've powered through it. Everyone's happy. I've done an all right job. That's the main thing. Next race is Prototype Cup, which is coming up after the French Championship has their qualifying. And then after that, it's straight into another race, basically. So it's a very full afternoon. Hello. And then finally, I'm going to try and chill out again. I'm going to do the same again this evening, I think. It's such a busy paddock today. Like, there's so many people. It's absolutely awesome. Moving on to the afternoon then. Um, here comes more footage, I guess. Hacklander has also cleared off from this. He's a good five seconds clear of this little trio. But with ten and a half minutes of the race left, has to get a move on if they want to make any further progress as well. Wow, big move down the inside. Big send by Von Gartzen, and now he leaves himself open to attack by Felipe Lazy. He says, no, I'm not going to go for that one. 
So I've just finished commentating on the Prototype Cup. Really good fun, actually. The only difficulty is that because it's a different feed, so I'm using this feed, not this one, which is coming from Neumarkt in Germany. We're in Germany, anyway. I don't get any direction, so I don't get told, like, start speaking now or hand over for an interview or whatever. I don't hear the interviews. The audio from it doesn't get broadcast on the English one because it's all in German. So there's a few things to overcome with it, but that's no problem. You know, I'll just commentate and commentate and commentate. When the podium finishes, that's when I stop. You know, that's that's it, that's when they end the stream. The racing's fantastic, the cars are amazing, they sound unbelievable. I'd like to do it again, to be honest with you. I hope the ADAC want me to do it again because it is a good little series. And honestly, I think with more LMP3 cars, it could be a fantastic championship. There's some great drivers in it. Not much more to say, really. It's just awesome, really awesome. I don't feel as bad as I did this morning. I'm gonna go chill out for a bit and uh, have a little wander in the paddock before the final truck race of the day. Put your hands together, everybody, because Lucas Hahn has won a race in the Goodyear FIA European Truck Racing Championship. Fantastic stuff. Antonio Albathetti finishes second. Steffi Halm gets a podium, but that is going to go down as a massively popular win here at the Nürburgring. Lucas Hahn wins in an Iveco at the Nürburgring at the Truck Grand Prix. Absolutely amazing. So Lucas Hahn is a race winner in the Goodyear FIA European Truck Racing Championship. I can't even open a door. I'm that happy right now. I'm so pleased for him. He's such a top guy, honestly. I don't really have favorites in this championship, but I just appreciate how lovely these people are and like the efforts they put in and just how nice they are to me and how accepting of me they are. And yeah, Lucas is one of the absolute stars. So I'm gonna make my way down into the paddock now and I'm gonna try and find him because I need to give him a big champagne smelling bear hug. Lucas has just won his first race in the championship. It's absolutely amazing. I, I couldn't contain my excitement at the end. You must feel absolutely incredible. Like, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, as you said, it's my first race this year. Also, the first situation that I start in the pole position in the FIA ETRC, and it's, yeah, it's also a lot of pressure because behind you have a really strong field, a lot of fast people. But yeah, I think I handle it good, and yeah. You could say that again. Yeah. I mean, you know, here at the Nürburgring as yeah. well, on, yeah. with the Truck Grand Prix, it's a yeah. special place to do it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. I just go a little bit slower that I'm safe and I don't yeah. make a mistake, so if I don't make a mistake, Antonio have to push me a lot that, I, that yeah. he can overtake me, but yeah, in the end, we handled it good, and I'm so proud to, <laughs> to have this win now. Get <laughs> in. Love it, mate. Yeah. Absolute pleasure. Yeah. Nice one. Thank you. Cheers. He's such a top guy. Absolutely amazing. He's really emotional around here right now, so I'm going to try and get somewhere else. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 